So in the previous um, lectures, we talked about LDAP, and you may be wondering how does it fit in this picture, right? Uh, it, it will come back uh, later on, uh, but uh, just um, stick with me here. So where are we right now? So we looked at this architecture where the we are abstracting the username and password into another service in a directory services. So that is kind of taking the heavy lifting so that the application has uh, have to do this uh, kind of a logic, right? So now where are we left at, right? I mean, so user at this time has to remember only one password, username and password. One user and password. Why? Because the username is stored in the directory services, and then and and also we talked about the roles in the previous concepts here. We talked about the roles, and using these roles, you can give permission to different applications. So this solutions which we provided having a separate identity services is going to solve from users having to remember a lot of different passwords, right? So you may think, okay, this looks great, but what's the problem right now? So the main different problem in terms of security is, I mean, if we go back to the app again, the user, browser, the user is still sending the credentials, which is the username password, to the app. And the app is calling LDAP protocol or other protocols to access the identity service, right? Or identity management service, which is using the LDAP protocol, which we looked in the last uh, series to do it, to access it, right? So the application still has access to the password. which is a huge security risk because the developers can be logging it to files. Or like we discussed in the past, if there's a malicious actor tries to exploit this application somehow, I mean, he can steal all the credentials from this application. And also the other issue is user has to log in to each app. So if there's another application, app two, this user, even if it's the same user, he has to type in the login name and password to get access to the application. And another issue we still uh, exists is the application has to worry about MFA. MFA is multi-factor authentication uh, in um, these days, every application which are sensitive applications, you might have seen a token being sent to a mobile application or a mobile phone, or you may have some kind of a token where it displays like a six digit code, which you have to type in. So that, that logic has to be included in the application itself. And the another issue is the web application is also talking to the identity service directly, right? So these are like some of the major issues um, you, you, you are um, focusing. There is another big issue, which um, I didn't uh, talk about here. I think it's a good time to um, discuss it here. So let's say uh, it, the, the issue is mostly related to the most of the application moving towards the cloud or outside of your secure Perimeter. So, right, what do I mean by secure perimeter? So, for example, let's say you're in a corporate environment, which is I'm supposed to get a square here. So, give me one second. Hmm. Uh, this is what I was looking for to make it prettier. And uh, so let's do another one. So let's say there's a user in your company and he's using a browser 
and then um, there is a web app in AWS and let's say there's also a database and the directory services which in this case is a active directory right which is the directory services which, which we looked in the past and where's the username and password is all stored in this active directory so when this user tries to access the web application which is in the cloud which is not in your secure boundary this is your secure boundary how will this application authenticate this user right because the username password is stored in the active directory which is in the company environment in the security boundary so this web application somehow has to access or need access to this directory services using the internet i mean you can have other techniques like using virtual private networks like vpn or some dedicated network to solve this problem but in most cases all you have is the internet and uh, which is a huge security risk to have the credentials going over back and forth in the internet because the internet is always called the untrusted network. Also called as the wild, wild west. You don't know what is happening in there and that's why it's always untrusted. So in, in the architectures we saw so far, the, the directory services and the users and the web application all have to be in the same security domain, right? So the app, the directory services, and then the users, all have to be in like one zone or one security domain in order to access this in a safe environment all right so now you're starting to see the problem why we are kind of giving all this fine details so that you will appreciate the facts why saml is a lot of saml or other protocols like oidc is solving this problem right or at least we're going to see how it's solving this problem so i'm going to stop here and we will pick up uh, from here and see where we can um, further evolve into this um, SAML architecture. See you soon.